वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल विच इज नोन बाई द नेम ऑफ फैक्ट फाइव टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन द रीजनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द एन एस ओ पेपर्स मोस्टली फॉर नेशनल साइंस ओलम्पियाड नेशनल मैथमेटिक्स इंटरनेशनल मैथमेटिक्स ओलम्पियाड एंड नेशनल साइबर ओलम्पियाड यू विल सी द फर्स्ट फाइव क्वेश्चन कंप्राइज ऑफ दिस रीजनिंग पार्ट सो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व रीजनिंग वी हैव कलेक्टेड दिस रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लॉर्ड्स ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ Olympias exams over the years, and we are going. We have compiled them into a, a set of around forty questions. We have today in this worksheet, and we are going to solve them. But before that, I would like to remind our viewers that if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the latest updates. With that, we will start with the first question for today's paper. Question one: Find the missing number in the given pattern. So. 25, 30, 35, 45, question mark 45, 50. You can see we are skipping five as we are moving to the right from the left. So this will be 40. So answer or option C is the right answer. Question two. We have a square. We have a rectangle. We have something of four sides. This is known as parallelogram, and this is a triangle. All these are four sided, but this is three sided. So this is the odd one. Question three. Study the given arrangement carefully. So this is the given arrangement. Now. Which of the following is second from the right end? So this is the right end. Second is this first. This is second. So this rubber is second. So option B is the right answer. Question four: How many triangles are there in the given figure? Let us count. So one, two, three, four. Then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this one is twelve. So option B, twelve, is the right answer. Question five: If yesterday was Thursday, then what day will be tomorrow? If yesterday was Thursday, today is Friday, and tomorrow will be Saturday. Hence, option B is the right answer. Now the next question. This is mark as question one. So please do not go into the numbers because, as we have already said, we have collected this question from various types of national Olympiad and international Olympiad papers. So these have been numbered as one and two. We have not corrected the serials, but the questions are there. So I am not going to repeat the serials. I am just going to read out the question and follow it up with the answers. So next question. How many triangles, circles, and rectangles, respectively, are there in the given figure? So let us quickly count the number of triangles first. So triangle, I can see this one is an inverted one. One, two, three, four. So four triangles. So I can see four and four is in B and D. So look at the way I am, uh, you know, doing this. So first of all, these two A and C are cut out. So we have to tally between four. And for B and D, in order to sa save time, what you can do is you can see the numbers of other things. Like it, this one belongs to circle, second number, and third one belongs to rectangle. So if you go to find eight circles, it is easier to find five rectangles compared to eight circles. So we are going to search with rectangles now. So let us see how many rectangles we have. One, two, three, four, five. So there are only five rectangles. So most possible answer is this one. But we have to Also count circles. Also circles are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight circles. So answer B is the right answer. Next question: Which box is the heaviest? So here you can see P is heaviest. Here you can see S is heavier than P. Here you can see Q is heavier than R. So Q is heavier than R. So if if I write like this Q, then P is heavier than Q so P is heavier than Q, then S is heavier than P so S is heavier than P so this is the heaviest. Hence answer D is the correct answer or option D is the correct answer. Next question there there is a certain relationship between figures P and Q. Establish the similar relationship between figures R and S by selecting a suitable figure from the options which will replace question mark in the figure S. So these are the options. Observe carefully. You see, we had a rectangle or a square. We had a square. In the next, the square has gone inside the circle. So there was a circle inside at the innermost part. The innermost circle has come, become outermost. Then we had the out outermost square, which has gone innermost, inner, and the triangle, which was in the second position, now has gone in the innermost. So here also, you see, we have a pentagon at the innermost. So this pentagon. Will be outermost. So here I can see only option A with pink color pentagon is there. Probably option A will be the correct one. We have to tally it. 
Next is what happened? This square went inside. So here also this square went inside. And finally, we had a triangle, this triangle which became the innermost. So here also this triangle is there, which became the innermost. So in this way, option A is the right answer. Next question, question 4. How many groups of 4 mangoes each can be formed from the given mangoes? So let's group 1, 2, 3, 4, our first group. Then again 1, 2, 3, 4, our second group. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, third group. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth group. And finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth group. So, there are five groups. Hence, option B is the right answer. Question next is, if we interchange the position of Q and T, then which toy will be fifth from the left end? So, first of all, find the fifth one. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is the one we are looking for. Now, see, this is mark T and this is Q. If we interchange, Q will come to T's position and T will go out to Q's position. Then this will be Q and this will be the fifth one again. So Q is the right answer. So option D is the right answer which is having Q. Next question. If this monkey is called fish, fish is called this bird, bird is called parrot. Then which of the following lives in water? We know fish lives in water but in here we do not call fish by its name. We call it by this yellow bird. So this yellow bird is our answer. Hence option C. Question 3. Or Next question is, Sahil starts his singing practice on 2nd September of, 2nd Monday of September 20XX and finishes his practice on 29th September 20XX. How many days does he practice? Assume that every Sunday is a holiday. So first we are looking for 2nd Monday of September which is this one, this date 13. Practices on 29 which is this date. We have calculated the number of days excluding the Sundays so there are two Sundays in between so let us calculate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so option C is the right answer next question 4 or next question select the odd one out here in each of these figures if you observe carefully you will see here we have four sides inside we have five sides here we have six sides and inside we have eight sides this is an octagon this is a hexagon this was a square and this is a pentagon. Here we have a pentagon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. Here we have a hexagon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In D, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is a heptagon and this is again an octagon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the inner figure has one side more than the outermost figure. In this case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 is a hexagon, so the inner should have been an heptagon like this one but it is an octagon you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is the odd one out it does not follow the pattern question 5 which of the following figures will complete the pattern in the x so you see we need something with an orange color first of all in this part to match this orange color then it has to be a kind of this blue rectangle and also this will be bordered like this with this white and this part will be green so this will be orange, only in option B, this will be blue, triangle, then this one, again a triangle, again this figure is green and this is white. So option B is the most probable fitting picture. So next question, you see, if you see this weighing scale here, we have, let's say these five sweets, if you assume one, two, three, four, five, five sweets is equal in weight with this bag, handbag. And in the second scenario, we have this chest which is equal in weight with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 weights weight is equal to this chest. Then what is the relation of, of weight between these two figures? So this is balanced by 5 of these objects. This is balanced by 6 of these uh, objects, meaning this is heavier than this. Hence answer or option A is the right one. Next question is find a missing figure. We have to follow the pattern. So star, then sun, then flower, then this green face, then a heart sign. Now. Here it completes. Again this is a repetition. Star, sun, flower. Then this will be coming in where because this is already there. Hence option D is the right answer. Next question. Which of the following figure is same as figure X? So this is figure X. So among these I can see this green is over here. And red hat is only over there. So this figure matches with this figure. Hence option D is the right one.
Next is how many triangles are there in the given figure. So if you count the total number of triangles, it will come out to be 34, which is in option B. I am just going to mark it. See, here we have two triangles. This one is also triangle. Then over here, then these smalls, all are triangles. These two are triangles and the entire triangle series or set around the circumference of this red or orange circle. So if you count all of these, it will turn out to be 34. How many groups of four pizzas which can be formed from the given pizza? So four groups, let's see, one, two, three, four, first group, one, two, three, four, second group, one, two, three, four, third group, and finally one, two, three, four, four groups. So there are four groups, hence option D is the right answer. Okay, next question, dash and dash will come in place of P and Q respectively. Follow the first row. We have this uh, diamond, then this star, then this circle. So each will have the same figures. If one of them is missing, we can see which one is missing. So here we have circle and star, so diamond is missing. Here also we have star and circle, so diamond is missing. So we, need, we know P and Q will be to this diamond. So this kind of diamond is in... To this kind of diamond is option C, so option C is the right answer. Next, if this is uh, watermelon is represented by apple, apple is represented by mango, mango is represented by banana, which one is heaviest? Heaviest is this, which is represented by apple, so apple is the answer, so option B is the answer. Next, read the clue about the given figure, identify which child drew it exactly same. Now, to save time, I will show you the trick on how to do this. Follow these instructions. Clue is there should be five triangles, one circle and three rectangles. So if we start with the minimum number of things, that is we have one circle. So in each of these figures, first we have to find out which one has one circle. If you see carefully, only this blue figure at the right end has one circle. This has three circles. See, these are also circles. Two circles, two circles. Only this one has three circles. One circle. So probably this is the right answer. If we match the other two components, that is five triangles, one, two, 3, 4, 5 and 3 rectangles, 1, 2, 3. So, option D, pinky is the right answer. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I think the, this part of the question was missed out. So, uh, I'm repeating the same instruction again. So, it says read the clue about the figure and identify which child drew it exactly. I just solved it. I said that you should begin with the minimum number of objects. Among there are 5 triangles, 1 circle, 3 rectangles we have to find. So, start with 1 circle. So out of all of these, I see only blue figure has one circle because here we have three circles, here two, here two. So probably pinky is the right answer, but we have to confirm using triangles and rectangles. So triangles will be five, so one, two, three, this whole and this one, five and three rectangles. So this one, this one and this one, three rectangles. Hence we have marked D, pinky as the right answer. How many groups of four smileys each can be formed from the given figure? So one, two, three, four, first group. One, two, three, four, second group. Four. One, two, three, four. This will be third group. One. This one is not there. One, two, three, four. And finally, last group. One, two, three, four. So all total four groups. Hence option is the right answer. Next, is costlier than ball and is cheaper than toy car? We have to find out. So here are the figures. If we arrange them. Let's start with the smallest one. So first is a toy, phone, then more than toy phone is this car, then more than car is this ball, and the costliest is this doll. So costlier than ball. So ball is over here, costlier than ball is doll. So we are looking for doll. And Cheaper than toy car. Cheaper than toy car is toy phone. So toy phone. So doll and toy phone is in option B. Hence option B. Study the pattern 1, 2 and 3 using the same pattern. Tell the number of balls in the pattern 6. So first pattern has 1. Second pattern has 4. Third pattern has 7. So I have written what will be the progressive pattern after pattern 3. So this is first, second, third. This is pattern 4. 10 plus 3. Then plus 3. Fifth pattern then plus 3, 6 patterns. So pattern 6 will have 16 balls. Hence, answer or option A is the right answer. Next, walks the longest distance, walks the shortest distance. We have to find out who walks the longest and who walks the shortest among Nisha, Sanchi and Jyoti. This being this distance, this distance from here to here equal to 1 unit. We have directions. For example, Nisha has followed this direction. You see. 
Sanchi has followed this direction and Jyoti has followed this direction. Follow my pencil movements. We have calculated uh, this one. So if you follow this direction, you will see Nisa have covered 10 units. Sanchi has covered now 9 units because this is equal to 1 unit and Jyoti has covered 13 units. So longest is Jyoti, shortest is Sanchi. Hence Jyoti and Sanchi for 2, option C is the right answer. You can calculate this. We have already calculated because this is online session. It will save some time for the presentation. Next question. How many circles are there in the given figure? Observe this as a yellow circle and a red circle. So how many are there? So two circles in each of these group. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 meaning we already have 22 circles. Now we have 3 circles over here. So 23, 24, 25. This has become 25. And finally 3 circles. You see white, then black, then white. So 25 plus 3, 28. So option D is the right answer. 28 circles. How many burgers are there in each group if 4 groups of equal number of burgers are formed in a given burger? So this is the first group, this is the second group, this is the third group, this is the fourth group. Hence option A is the right answer. Next, which of the following is 4 to the left of T? So this is T. To the left is in this direction. 4th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Star P is the 4th one. So option A is the right answer. So if goat is... Uh, elephant, elephant is rabbit, rabbit is horse, then which of the following is the heaviest? Heaviest being the elephant represented by rabbit, so option D, rabbit is the right answer. Next, which person is the fifth from the ticket counter? Ticket counter is this, so first, second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth is Aman, hence to A, Aman is the right answer. Study the patterns 1, 2 and 3 using the same pattern, tell the number of beads in pattern 6. First pattern has 4 beads. Second pattern has 9 beads. Third pattern has 14 beads. So increasing number is 4 to 9 is 5. 9 to 14 is 5. So we have to increase it 5, 5 times each after this pattern. So 14 plus 5, 19 will be pattern 4. 19 plus 5, 24 will be pattern 5. And 25 plus 5 is 29 which will be pattern 6. Hence option B is the right answer. In how many different ways can cat reach the mouse? So Follow my pencil movement. First, starting from here, this is the rat. First is this one. I'm going like this. So this is the first root. Second root, again going upward. Following this path. Coming over here. And instead of going here, I'm going this one and this one. So this is the second root. Third root now from downward. Starting the straight part. Third root is also done. Now fourth root, coming over here, then diverting to this one, following this, this rule, again diverting over here, and then, and finally the fifth root is, starting from here, diverting over here, then continuing, continuing, without diverting in this root, following this path, and then diverting, so there are all total five roots which that cat can take to reach the mines, so answer, or option B is the right answer. Next question, how many groups of four triangles can be formed? From the given shape. So let us find out the groups. Okay. So 1, 1, 1, 1. First group. 1, 1, 1 and 1. Second group. 1, 1, 1, 1. Third group. So only 3 groups are possible. Hence option C is the right answer. There is a certain relationship between a pair of figures on each side of the double colon. Identify the relationship of the given figure and find the missing figure. So here you can see we have a white circle outermost and a green innermost. In the next it reverses. This green become outermost and this white become innermost. Following the same rule, this blue will become innermost and this white will become outermost. So here out of ABCD, I have white outermost and blue innermost. So out of ABCD, outside is white, inside is blue. Hence, Option C is the right answer. Next question is which of the following options will complete the pattern in the given figure? This is the pattern. Look, these are com complete, uh, let's say, kind of a semicircles. This is white semicircles. So something white semicircle will come over here. 
following the symmetry of the object along with this line follow the line so line was on the top line became bottom here the line is on the bottom so the line will come come on the top over this side so among a b c d i can see two waves or three waves line is on the top that is b c and d but we need this white semicircle so white semicircle is in b and d only c is ruled out so between b and d you you will see this triangle or this small shapes at the top so these small shapes needs to coincide with this to form the entire thing so if we follow pattern b first of all this one will coincide over here completing this circle this one is already there this will over come over here and the two this one will complete this semicircle and this one will complete this semicircle alternative doing white and brown or orange here orange and brown here in this case this one is missing you see this is not there so this will remain unfinished so option b is the only possible answer which is the longest stick so the, this is a scale in centimeters and i have already marked the sticks length so z is 7 because it starts from 3 and it ends at 10 next y starts from 0 goes over 9 x starts from 0 goes to 8 w starts from 7 goes to 12 so 5 so out of all of this y is the longest hence answer b is the right answer so next question complete the given pattern 6 12 18 Question mark thirty thirty six. As you can see, this is increasing by six. So six plus six twelve. Twelve plus six eighteen. Eighteen plus six will be twenty four. So option A is the right answer. Next, Naira starts her volleyball practice on third Monday of July twenty six. Six practices for five consecutive days. Her practice finishes on. This is the first, second, third. So this is fifteenth of July is the day when she starts his practice. Continues for five days. So one, two, three, four, five. should be finishing by 19th of july 19th of july is in option b hence option b is the right answer and with that we come to the end of all the questions of the logical reasoning part for collected from different olympiads all questions have been compiled of people who are participating needs to practice this reasoning because always there are five questions in nco nso and imo that is mathematics science and cyber that is computer science olympiads the first five questions comprises of this logical reasoning which is why we decided to uh, you know make this session make this worksheet and publish it on our youtube we will be publishing it shortly so please do visit our channel and let your children practice if they are already targeting the olympiads for the next season or even for this season for the level 2 guys who are already appeared for level 1 and qualified for level 2 with that we will conclude this session We will meet again another day with another interesting video.